Hey there and welcome to Attorney Collectibles. Right, what we're going to look at today is a tin plate basically. This one here is a really sought after make, made in Japan called Kaji. And what this item is, is the battery operated Sky Taxi Pan Am. Basically, it's a Boeing Vertol 107. It's like a chin up helicopter. It's a pretty cool retro toy, dating I would say from the early 70s at my guess pretty cool so this is basically what they are as you may see on google if you look at these they're pretty rare and quite sought after i was lucky enough to get two of these in unfortunately i've sold one already if someone would like this one which is in my hand you know welcome go on my website have a look they're pretty cool i think we're doing them for 49.99 which is a lot less than any dealer would in a comic book store what they are is their unused stock we just found lying about. The boxes are a bit bashed up, but as you can see, the models are really, really nice. What I will do is this one is absolutely, it's never been touched. I'm going to put that one there, but this is the one we still got for sale. All I will say with you is, because it's plastic and over time, sometimes what happens is where the screws are on these ones, they can go a bit brittle and start showing strains. So whilst this has never been used, you can see by the screw you get some stress lines every now and again just there I will say that isn't wear or anything that's what just happens to them so if anyone does buy any of these or sees any on eBay or any any site like that or an auction room do check the screws it's really really important right I will put this one away so if anyone is interested in one of these I'm gonna list this on attorney collectibles .co.uk as I said I think 49.99 I'll, I'll charge it which is really really cheap as I said we don't cost the earth for our stuff if you went to most dealers they'd probably be asking you around the 100 200 pound range for that right I am now going to demonstrate exactly what this cool retro toy does I'm going to put that one there right this one has already been sold I'm actually about to pack it up that's the reason for basically doing this video so as you can see pretty large scale what you've got here is the battery compartment it takes two C batteries at the moment I've just put two AA's they will fit in if you're very careful right now just pick that up I drop sorry right what you've got is two plastic rotors and again what makes these really rare is these are pretty fragile so over time these break but because these are like mint old factory stock they've lasted really really well so what you've got is you've got the upper which is tin plate and the bottom is plastic right if I can get enough room unfortunately loads more deliveries come today so I haven't got much room on my table the postman seems to be sending me stuff before I can even sell it today right I will demonstrate what this really cool Hadji Panam helicopter does my dog hates it when I test it the customer asked me yesterday you know if I could test it before it went so I did and it was pretty shocking what this thing does. So hopefully, on cue, we can get it to do. It's got a switch somewhere at the bottom if I'm careful. As I say, the last thing I want to do is break it seeing I have sold this one. I'm going to tell me just because I want to get it to work. It's not going to, as I said, let me just take these rotors off. There we go. And then we can drop one. All these do is literally stop up. I said, I'm testing this with AA batteries, and they're not the right size. What we'll do very carefully, if we can get this camera in front of this time, we'll take the battery cover off. Okay, the battery will just fall off. So these aren't the type of batteries, really. You're supposed to be using Cs, but if you do very careful, you can get two AA batteries. hear that already what it's doing. It sounds like an, a capture to what I've done is just put two batteries in there but these do slip out because they're not the right ones so I've got to be very careful with what I'm doing. So what we do, as you can see it's revving up to make noises, sounds. So he wants to fly away now. And the rotors will start moving. The noise it makes is just hilarious. Right, I'm going to put the other rotor on. You think this is a toy for 
it would have been the late 60s, 70s, that period. That is pretty cool, I think. And then it stops as a rest. As I say, I don't want it falling off my sideboard. It has a little rev up. It starts going, and then it'll start moving, which I don't want it to. Cause it will. But what a cool toy. Really, really nice. See, if anyone does want one of these, they, they are very rare. As I said, you won't find these anymore. I have one left, and I haven't actually tested that one. One thing I will say with these old toys I sell, they're sold as collectibles. They're not sold as toys, so I cannot guarantee any working electrics or if they will last. You know, this has been sitting around in a storage unit in an old abandoned warehouse for possibly 40, 50 years, so I'm not making any guarantees, but as you can see, that looks like it was made yesterday. It's absolutely stunning. Anyway, thanks for looking. Please like, comment, and please visit my store. Many bargains. It's quite surprised how many people knock on my front door and have bootloads of things they've found and they start selling me. Right, don't disappear. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.